So yeah, Heath already mentioned it briefly in his headline, but it looks like TWIM is going to open up in Michigan yet again. And whereas last week we had the awesome story of Jex Blackmore giving anti-abortion activists nightmares by taking a pill live on the evening news, this week we have a misogynistic candidate for governor trying to sweet-talk women impregnated by rapists into carrying the pregnancy to term. So, the fuck biscuit in question here is Garrett Saldano, a chiropractor by trade, so already pre-disqualified for public office. But as if his simple existence wasn't bad enough, he recently went on the pompously titled Real America's Voice to tell anti-mask idiot April Moss that women who are raped should be thankful to God if they get pregnant. After all, that child might, by his estimation, be the next president. And the kid's dad, in my estimation, might be the last one. But yeah, he literally said that shit. He started off by telling the story of an adopted friend researching his birth mother and learning that she was gang raped on a subway. That's absolutely not true, by the way. No fucking way he could have researched that shit. Anyway, he goes on to talk about how happy his friend was that he got to live instead of not live. And how grateful he was that his mom hadn't gotten an abortion. And if Saldana realized at any point that the implication was that his friend was also grateful to those gang rapists, his face never betrayed it. Of course, Saldana didn't want to take a hardline approach to encouraging rape victims to bear their attacker's children. Instead, he's advocating for the getting people to fight fires for 32 grand a year approach and suggested just calling them heroes. Quote, how about we start inspiring women in the culture to let them understand and know how heroic they are? and how unbelievable they are, that God put them in this moment, and that they don't know that little baby inside them may be the next president, may be the next person that changes humanity, may get us out of a situation, maybe in the future. We don't know that, end quote. In other words, why can't those greedy bitches look on the bright side of their rape? Of course, as friend of the show him at Meta points out, he never bothers to balance that alongside all the shit that the victim might be if she didn't have to go through a pregnancy and become an unwitting mother. I guess she never had the situation getting out of potential of her unborn man-child. <sighs> anyway, on that depressing note, and with the hopes that we can move on to some other state next time, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs> 